my channel my name is Jayla Marie and today we have a different video as you can see I have a different kind of setup today is going to be a rant video slash story time about work you guys this past week has been crazy super crazy so I thought that I would come to you guys and share a story that I have that happened to me this week goodness now some of you guys may know some of you guys may not know I work in the hotel industry anyways so there's this person that I work with I'm just gonna give you a whole backstory and it's gonna lead up to everything that happened recently okay so I've been at my job for a while like over a while you know and then there's this other person who's been at my job for a while she just got hired a little bit after me but she is my supervisor um everybody at my job does not treat her like a supervisor she doesn't act like a supervisor she likes to gossip and she's drama she's definitely not what a supervisor is um but anyway so this girl um i won't say we're gonna call her k so k is dating this guy named c and they're both were supervisors right so they're dating each other dating each other my manager made it so they can't work together anymore so they can't work together anymore while they're dating well long story short C, which is a supervisor, was a supervisor, ended up getting a room at our job and had a party and just, needless to say, C no longer works at our job anymore. Like, he's gone, he's fired, whatever. So, and the reason, half the reason why he got fired was because of K, his own girlfriend got him fired. But anyway, so it leads up about a couple of weeks to now where K is pissed off because He's fired, and some of the other people that that C was with when things happened for him to get fired, they still work there. So now she's in this whole mode to where she wants to pretty much get revenge or get whoever she can fired because C is gone. As to, I still talk to C. A lot of people at the company still talk to C, and I guess K didn't know that or she doesn't like that. I think she knows. She just doesn't like the fact that he does. Anyways, so he hit me up about a couple of days ago and he tells me um that i'm gonna get written up or something something crazy like something like you're gonna get written up and yeah i'm gonna get written up and blah 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 i'm like why like what's the reasoning behind it and he says i don't know he knows one this is where the problem started for me and i didn't say anything after this at, at this point it was just like okay like whatever but then I started thinking, and it was like he wouldn't know any of this unless Kay was telling him because he doesn't work there. Which means he's not talking to he's not talking to my GM anymore to know anything that's happening at the company where he used to go to the staff meetings and stuff before where he doesn't. So this brings back to Kay. Kay's telling him stuff that's happening at the company, and this is not okay, and it does not sit well with me. So, yeah, so I'm like, whatever, I brush it off. I see my work hand in hand with my GM all the time. Almost every day. She says nothing about it. Which brings me to yesterday. So, yesterday what happens is I get another message from him and it's like, hey, be careful what you do at work. Blank, which is my GM, was going is going to fire you, or you're going to get your final war warning or written up or whatever. At this point, I was done. I'm livid. I'm done. Like, why are you sending me these messages and no one else is saying anything to me? Kay's not saying anything to me. Mind you, I talk to Kay a lot. I kind of considered Kay a, not like a friend, but like a work friend associate type of whatever you know we've hung out outside of work we've done things outside of work so it's just kind of like I don't get it but whatever y'all know how females are y'all know how females are <laughs> so anyway so yeah so then it goes back to he's saying that and I'm like okay back to this again how do you know and what's the reasoning behind it so obviously Kay told you that yet again and you don't work there so I message my GM and I said hey something has been brought to my attention that I need to talk to you about she says okay 
so I texted her and uh, mind you I screenshotted this text this message I got on snapchat because I needed my receipts so I asked her I said hey this is what's going on I you know gave her the rundown of everything then she asked for the screenshot I sent her the screenshot she reads it she's like first of all no <laughs> you're not getting fired no one's getting fired let's make that clear for me I'm like that's it that's all I need to know I just wanted to know that I wasn't gonna be like there was no reason if there was something that happened then I'd be like I totally agree such and such happened with this reservation something's not with this guest I'd be like okay there's nothing I go to work I work 6 in the morning to 2 30 I don't even see see any other like co-workers really unless there's a person who works seven to three besides that i don't see anyone else so it's like why first of all why would you like pick me out or anything anyways i just think she's trying to get anyone fired so she can get him back or whatever i don't know so yeah that's my work right <laughs> i was highly highly upset highly pissed off because why why lie? Why put my job in jeopardy? I guess she really thought that I wasn't going to say anything. I guess she thought C wasn't going to say anything to me. Well, that backfired. So then she started, once it all came out, my GM hit her up and she got in a lot of trouble. I have no clue what all happened. I haven't been at work since. I have my two days off. I'll find out when I go back to work. But yeah, so she got in trouble and then C hit me up and he was like, well, thanks for telling K about me warning you. And I was like, I didn't tell K. I told the GM. And then he was like, like, he didn't really care. He was like, I don't care what you did. You need to like be aware of what's happening or what lies are being told about you. He was like, just as long as you covered my name up, like that's all he was worried about. So me and him are still cool. He just wanted to make sure his name is in the clear. And he just wanted me to know what was happening and make sure like my job was safe. But yeah, like that is my supervisor. And she was really like either A, trying to get me fired or B, I don't know what she was lying about. My GM was just like, I have no clue what's happening. I will look into it. I was just like, well, if I, and that's, this whole time when this happened, it was like, I worked the whole day from from six to two with my GM and she still she didn't say anything no write-up no warnings nothing it was a normal day she was actually showing me more stuff about like our system like she was just going on like a normal day so I was just like am I losing my job like how am I losing my job if she's teaching me more like more and more hands-on stuff but anyway that's my rant I'm not gonna keep going I just wanted to come share something different with you guys and let you guys know like I was pissed off like, I'm still pissed off I haven't even seen this girl who knows what's gonna happen when I see her but it is getting hot where I am with all these lights beaming on me so I'm going to end this video here I hope you guys have enjoyed if you like this type of video let me know give it a thumbs up subscribe also um i have lots of hotel stories a lot of like rants i could do like a whole thing on like hotels and the stuff that i see and the stuff that goes on like if you guys want to see that let me know i also can try to like take the camera with me when i do different things at work so you guys can see like the back end of the hotel but you guys just have to let me know if you guys want to see that if you do i will definitely put something together so you guys can see that i'm jayla marie again and thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe